All right, let me try to do this one more time. I went to go see The Wizard of Oz. And The Wizard of Oz, Wizard of Oz is interesting because it gives you the perspective of how the wizard saw Oz. You know, how he became the Oz. He was just a magician and a whoremonger. And he kind of got, you know, that damn hurricane or a tornado which popped up all over the place. I don't know what that tornado represented. In some movies, it represents it was brought on by Glinda the Good Witch. But in this movie, I don't know if it was God related or what. But anyway, a tornado sweeps him up and sends him off to Oz. The same tornado that came to get Dorothy and her monkey ass that ran out into the street came to get the Wiz. I don't know where this place is, but the only way you can get there is close to death. But it's beautiful in its color and presentation. And so you get to find out, like, um, what's the girl's name? She plays Mag. Meg? Meg. Sorry. Meg and, um, and a family guy. Mila Kunis. Kunis? Whatever her name is. Who, she's a very beautiful girl. But she becomes the witch in this movie. She it was okay. I forgot who her sister was. Um, but really, honestly, you get to see what the Wiz thought and how he was just a mediocre nobody and how they just had vision. They had, um, they had a vision. You know, the Bible says the people without vision will perish. So they had a vision that someone named the Oz was going to come and rescue them from the witches of the north, south, east, and west. I don't know. I don't know. Some old craziness. But, um... Yeah, you know, my favorite, The Oz, The Wizard of Oz is a great story. It just is, like, whoever does it, it's going to be a hit because it's just a great story. My favorite, of course, is The Wiz with Michael Jackson in it. You know, uh, Walmart has The Wiz on sale with the CD. Did y'all know that? You can get the DVD and the CD, of which I play both of them. On a regula, a regular. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I kind of almost fell asleep a little bit. I'll tell you the thing that was interesting the most for me. I liked, the movie starts out small screen, like almost like TV. And very gradually, without me really noticing it, it became full screen and color. I just didn't even see when that happened. It was kind of slick how that happened. But, um, yeah, I don't know what that says, if that's the most interesting part of the movie, but that was the most interesting part of the movie for me. That's what I liked the most. I thought that was interesting. But it's okay. You get to see how the wizard gets his thing. So, 